Ready. Maybe not ready. Yeah. Hey, Eric. Um, yeah, I was just wondering about um, wondering about uh, Colin Clay on the other side. You came in with him back in 2019. I don't know if you guys still keep in touch. If you talked to Braun, said to ask you about him. So I, I don't know if you talked to Braun about him at all, or what's the story? No, no, I, ain't, I haven't talked to Braun about him. And uh, we've been we follow each other on social media. We keep in contact uh, here and there. He just got married recently, I believe, in uh, the summer. Congratulate him on that. But I mean, yeah. It's still my boy, and I mean, he you know he's he came up with injury like I believe two years ago, so he was kind of like me coming in too, man. He, we were big DNs playing, and then you know injuries happen. We gained a little weight, and then we get thrown aside. I mean, so we kind of got the same. We had the same mindset of just being physical and man and playing through the whistle. So I feel like that's what he's going to bring when he come in and play. Yeah, you think he's extra amped up for this one? Oh yeah, 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 for sure. There's no doubt, for sure. Yeah, Luke, going back to your home state. Um, sure, so Oklahoma State recruited you and stuff. What are your thoughts about going into Stillwater and uh, playing in front of the, your home state crowd? I um, mean, it's definitely exciting. Um, I have a lot of uh, former teammates on that team from high school. And then uh, just being able to go back to Oklahoma where my family's at and um, just a lot of people I know, it'll be exciting. But, I mean, this past weekend it was exciting too. But uh, definitely excited to get down there and play in my home state. Thanks, guys. Bob. Yeah, but Luke, did uh, did Oklahoma State? Uh, I assume they recruited you. If they're not, if they didn't, they're pretty stupid. Did, did they recruit you, or what? What was that like? Yes, they were actually my first offer, um, in high school. Um, no, it was. I mean, it was good. I mean, it was early on, so I wasn't. I was just kind of still taking on the recruiting process. Um, so that's pretty much it. You remember, like, were you a sophomore? Do you remember how old you were when they offered you? Yes, I was uh, the end of my sophomore year. You take a visit or give them much consideration? or? Yes, I went down there a couple times. Um, like I said, I have a bunch of teammates from uh, my high school team who went down there um, or who play there. So um, I go down there with them here and there. I, th I think you guys, each player gets four tickets to visit road games, if I'm not mistaken. Is that, is that still right? Yes. So how many do you need and how many have you been able to acquire? Uh, that's that's a mom question for me. <laughs> I'm not really in charge of that stuff. She kind of takes over with all the ticket stuff. Yeah. Or do you have any idea how many uh, family and friends will be there for, for you and Dylan? Uh, I'd say probably around eight, ten, maybe. I bet, it'll be, I bet it'll be more than that. Um, wow. And then, you know, the other night was your first time to play in a long time because you missed so many games, obviously, last year. Just how good – what would it feel like to be back uh, on the field playing? And obviously this game's, you know, higher stakes. Uh, how exciting is, is it for this first really big one of the season? Um, uh, last week it felt good to get back out there, especially just with uh, – uh, our teammates and the new teammates too. I mean, it was just exciting. It's really fun to play with the, our offensive line and the tight ends um, in our room. Uh, we all compete and really want each other to succeed. So, I mean, it was cool to see Ty out there uh, get a nice touchdown thrown from Taylor, who played amazing too. And then uh, it was just definitely really exciting to get back out there and play an actual game instead of practice. Uh, but this next one will be probably even more exciting. And then Eric, I think I read right. Oklahoma State has five red shirt seniors on their offensive line. Maybe some of those guys, you might be six year guys like like you are. Just well, what's your take on our offensive line and playing a and they're all three hundred some pounds? I think. What, what, what's your take on our offensive line with all that size and experience and everything? I mean, they're uh, they're like you said, they they got a lot of experience. They've been here probably just as long as I have been playing. So I mean, they got a lot of experience, and then like you said, they're big. So I mean, they they they're physical. They're kind of like an SEC O line O line, you look at it. I mean, there's really no difference. So we got to come in, we got to attack the same way we do it each and every week. It might have a couple more. I'll, I'll turn back to Oliver. Thank, thanks. Thank you. Tom, go ahead. Hey, Eric. Uh, so a couple of years ago, you guys went to BYU and won the first game of a two-game series, a big marquee type game. Um but Arkansas had done that in the past against TCU and Texas Tech. I wonder what, like, the mentality you take into a road game that you know there's going to be a lot of eyes on you uh, to start a two-game series like that. 
I mean, you just got to yeah, go in and play football. I mean, it's football at the end of the day. I mean, the only difference really is, is the crowd noise when you look at it. I mean, so once you eliminate that, it's just football. So this is this is a mindset we come in where we're going to go in there, eliminate the crowd noise, and we're going to we're going to play football. Um, Ollie Gordon uh, comes in as Doak Walker Award winner. He breaks a lot of tackles. What's your thoughts on about facing a, a running back of his caliber? I mean, yeah, as you said, he's a very, very good back, man. He, uh, he's very patient, and he finds a hole. He, he hits it. I mean, so we got to put our bodies on him. I mean, we can't just go in there with arms because he's, he's a big back. He's gonna run through those. So we got to put a body on him. We got to wrap up, and we got to rally to the ball. Yeah. So Alan Bowman, their quarterback's actually been going at it longer than you, seven <laughs> years. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's your, what's your thought on him? Just, just seeing it, the way he operates in that system, man. You can tell he's been there for a minute. The way he like knows in and out, the, the calls and stuff like that. So I mean, you can see the experience on film, and I feel like this is what he brings to it. He he knows the system in and out. All right, and Luke, generally their defense. Uh, what kind of things they like to do? And uh, I, I know Oliver is going to be a guy you'll you'll have to keep an eye out on. <laughs> yes, um, I mean you can tell it. They they just play one hundred percent all the time, and they love to rally to the ball, and um, they're going to play hard. And they've got, like you said, they've got some really good people coming back who have experience. Um, so, I mean, they're going to come out and play hard and play how they've been playing for a while. So we just have to go out there and uh, play like we've been practicing this week. Bob Stevens, do you have anything? Hey, guys. Uh, Luke, tell me about your visit to OSU and how emotional will it be for you to go there this week? Uh, or is it more of a business trip? Is that going to be easy to keep it just business? Um, I mean, I wouldn't say it really won't. It won't really be emotional because, I mean, I, I wasn't really very interested in Oklahoma State, but, I mean, I was grateful that they offered me. But, um, no, I'd say it's more like a business trip, just like any other game, though, like same as last week. Um, we're going to go in there, and um, we've prepared for them um, well this week, and our coaches have a good game plan. Um with us watching film against them. So, I mean, we're just going to go in there like it's a business trip like every other week. I think you said you didn't really consider them. Uh, were they ever on your top three? Um, No, not – I mean, not really. I mean, I really, I really just wanted to come here at the end of the day. Did you have a top three or was it just a top one? Uh, it was pretty much just a top one, if I'm being honest. Why, why is that? Um, with Coach Pittman being here, um, and then just the coaches that have been around here, like when when they brought Coach Turner in, um, just with his resume, and then being here now and being coached by him, just seeing like how grateful I am that I chose to come here because he's one of the he's probably the best tight end coach in the country, just with the way that he teaches us and um gets the really the room involved, not just one person. Like we're all involved competing every day. How are you better than when you first got here? And what is it you still need to improve on the most? Um, I'd say blocking and physicality, and that's something still that I can uh, improve on. But uh, Coach Turner has done a great job, like I said, with our footwork and stuff. He's been helping me a lot um, without using my size to my advantage. And then um, I'd say having the guys come in like Keys and Andreas and – uh, Ty, he's been here, but all of them, us pushing each other to be better each and every day. Are you trying to get bigger or just stronger? Uh, I'm always trying to get bigger and stronger. But, um, no, I'm happy with the weight I'm at right now. Um, just got to keep on doing, working on footwork and stuff. But um, it's definitely paid off this off season. What do you work on the most besides healing after getting hurt last year and, and coming back in the – I guess you were around in the spring. Forgive me if I'm wrong. Um, I'd say for sure the biggest thing I've worked on is blocking and having confidence while I'm doing it, for sure. Describe yourself as a route runner. Um, I like to say, like, I'm playing basketball out there. Like, when I'm trying to get open, I'm using basketball moves to get open at the top of my routes and stuff. How good were you on the court? Did You, you played in high school, I assume. <laughs> um. Yeah, I was pretty good. I played my freshman year. Uh, I got a chance to play on the varsity team my freshman year. And then really once COVID came around and they shut basketball down, that's when 
um, I transitioned to football just because I started gaining a bunch of weight, and my twin brother influenced me too. Okay. Why'd you gain a bunch of weight? <laughs> were it just uh, maturing or were you eating the wrong stuff? Uh, just lifting. Okay. And during COVID, we bought a weight rack. We're, okay. Uh, who used it more, you or your brother? Uh, we both used it same pretty much every day we could. How important was it for the two of you, you know, because uh, you're being twins, you continually push each other, I assume. And what was what was that like? Uh, I mean, it's awesome having a twin, especially with him uh, being on the team with me. Um, and still to this day, we're pushing each other, not only on the field, but like also like in the classroom and uh, stuff off the field. So, I mean, it's great having him here with me. Were you always a tight end or when did you uh, evolve into that? Um, I started uh, at wide receiver my sophomore year, but my high school did a bunch of bubble blocking stuff. And then that's when I really transitioned from uh, wide receiver to doing some tight end stuff my end of my junior and senior year. You mentioned uh, the classroom. So what's do you have a favorite class right now and what what's your goal in the academic way? Um, I mean, I like all my classes. Uh, I'd say my goal is just to get a degree. Okay. Wise answer. In case uh, any of your profs are listening. Uh, describe your on-field relationship with Talon. And uh, are you guys in sync? Or do you still are you still working on that? Is it a, is it a work in progress? Um, no, I'd say uh, Talon's done a great job since we got here. Really getting all of us in sync with him and having chemistry. Um, no, but you, you could tell, uh, last year or last game that he's getting everyone involved and he's just a great guy on and off the field. What's your perception of him as a quarterback and how high his ceiling is? Do you think? I think he has a chance to be the, uh, best in the country. You can see his, just his potential and the way he works and the way he studies the game and. Um, just how he's a leader, most of all. Eric, I see you nodding your head at the first part of that answer. You want to expound on that? I mean, yeah, just seeing him in practice, man. He's a, he's a dual threat quarterback. He can do it all, man. And throughout the season, he's just going to progress as it goes. So, I mean, it's the ceiling top for him. Seemed like he progressed from uh, the opening uh, possession last week, you know, into the second quarter. Was that just – Getting rid of jitters, getting his feet on the ground, do you think? New school? Oh, yeah, yeah, I think it did. I mean, he probably just had a little jitters coming out. I mean, probably his first game, you know, the little jitters, he just wanted to be great. I mean, a lot of people have those, and then you see he come back and he had a great game. Eric, tell me about Luke Cause. What makes him so good? The way he can he can block, I mean, we know he can catch the ball. I mean, so just him building on his blocking, I mean, that taking his game to another level. Uh, Luke, last last thing here, and I'll turn it over to somebody else. Uh, how much has Taylor improved since you first lined up with him back in the spring? And uh, what's he need to still do better this year to reach his potential? Um, I think, I mean, each day, just with practice, like each, each and every day, like he's getting better at something. And um, whether that be with um, reads and stuff, which he's doing amazing at, um, no, but I think um, he just continues to grow so much and just his confidence um, in our offense. And you can tell just with how much time he spends with Coach Petrino and Coach Fishback uh, watching film. And then uh, you can just the, – all the extra work that he puts in after practice and before practice, it's it's paying off and he's going to reach his full potential. A lot of times it's tough. The, one of the toughest things for a college quarterback is your progressions, you know, in your reads and as you go from one through three or four or whatever. Uh, how much better is he that now than when you first met? Um, you know, I, I feel like he was always just right on and as soon as he got here. Um, he, he just had something about him, and he still does. But he just continues to get better, and – that's just a truthfully and honest answer that he just continues to get better each and every day. All right. Thank you both. Bob Holt, wrap it up, please. Yeah. Um, I don't think I'll go quite as long there. Um, hey, for both of y'all, this, this obviously is a, is a big game. You know, you're playing a big 12 team, ranked team, national TV, all that. 
is how big an opportunity is this for you guys to really put last year in the rearview mirror? Hey, Eric, maybe you can take that first. Yeah, I, I think it's big, man. I think it's, I mean, we our first game throughout the season, we had success. But, I mean, this is a different team, to be completely honest, a different team. We got to come in kind of with the same mindset. It's no, really no different. I come with the same mindset. We got to uh, do what we do, man. We got to play ball. We got to line up. I mean, know our assignment and, and focus on the small things. Um, I'd say it's just a great opportunity for us to um, show all the work that we've done in the off season and how we've really came together as a team um, on and off the field. So, I mean, it's, it'll be exciting for us. Let's go one more for Luke. I know we talked in camp about it. I think you added about 10 pounds since last year. By Petrino said you got stronger. How did you feel that uh, translate into the game the other night? Uh, I'd say I, my, my body feels better when I'm out there playing. And then uh, just with blocking, I feel like I have more force and power going in to people that played it last year. Okay, I, I think I'm good. Appreciate you guys. Eric Luke in Stillwater.